Is that it? Is that, is that to stop? Or? No, I was just going to the question there. <laughs> you could have, like, had an introduction. <laughs> question 10. <laughs> I think I feel a little bit of regret. Um, show that oh my God. x over 1 minus x all cubed is probably equal to x plus 3x squared plus 6x cubed for small values of x. Okay. Well, like, this, this isn't as bad as a start, is it? But x over 1 minus x all cubed. Of course, if we're going to do some binomial expansion stuff, we need to think of this as being x times 1 minus x to the minus 3. So we need to do the binomial expansion of 1 minus x to the minus 3, which is x times, what would that be? That's uh, 1 plus minus x, and the power of minus x is 1 plus n times x plus n times n minus 1 all over 2 times the x bit squared and we've got we've got uh, three terms to do haven't we? We're going to go up to x cubed so that would carry on but we're not going to bother about it. So this gives us x times 1 plus 3x plus uh, 4 over 2 is 2, 2, 3, 6 x cubed squared plus dot dot which is x plus 3x squared plus 6x cubed and there we go right great good start nice two marks use this result together with a suitable value of x to obtain a decimal estimate for the value of the value of 100 over 729 right well um, 100 over 729. We need to think what what x value gives us that as a as a thing. Um, 729 is uh, is what you get if you cube 9, isn't it? And so we've got we've got kind of a link in there. We've got the x on the top. If you put x equals 0 0.1, you'd have 0 0.1 over 0 0.9 cubed. And that would give you 100 over 79. So, so it's that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use x equals 0 0.1 in there. We know, uh, we know because of the way that this stuff works that x had to be a small number. We knew that x had to be a number between minus 1 and plus 1, didn't we? So it's just a case of trying to think what x value would work to give you that fraction and try a few and as soon as you spot you've got kind of 10 cubed and, and 9 cubed going on there you can work it through from that. So we sub that in, um, there we go, so um, 100 over 729 is approximately equal to 0 0.1 plus 3 times 0 0.1 squared plus 6 times 0 0.1 cubed. So it's approximately equal to, can I remember your calculator? Yeah. Which, um, I, the class made me do that thing at the start with the chair, it wasn't my idea. Um, Lies. Be quiet, Dominic. <laughs> when do you leave? Um, it was no idea. <laughs> so we get 0.136. After that, as our approximate value, uh, of course, you didn't get the mark for writing uh, 0.137 because that is the approximate value of 100 over 79 given by the calculator. So you have to be really careful to make sure you put the right thing down here um, to show that it actually subbed 0.1 into your answer. Now, um, show that this, this caught a few of us out. Show that x over 1 minus x cubed is equal to minus 1 over x squared times 1 minus 1 over x all cubed. This, um, this was just kind of in there, in the middle of this question, but just kind of tucked away casually. It's, it's no problem. And yet, it was kind of like a horrific thing to try and work out, wasn't it? It was very exciting marking this to see people scrambling around in sheer desperation, looking 
out for some kind of way of doing something. Um, now, I've got to try and remember, because I, I forgot to bring through my thing, how I actually uh, worked my way through this. What did I do? I um, what did I do? I multiplied top and bottom, did I, by 1 over x cubed. Did that work? I think that's what I did. I thought, <laughs> let's go with this. We'll take the left hand side and we'll multiply the top and bottom by 1 over x cubed because that's doing the same thing. I may have forgotten what I did here. There we go, that's doing the same thing on the bottom. It's like times it by one, it doesn't change the value of it. Look what we get. On the top, we get a one over x squared out of that, x times one over x cubed. On the bottom line, we take, is this gonna work out? I'm not sure this is what I did. I'd call x from inside the bracket. Yeah, I think that's what, what I did. Why well. would you do that? Like, yeah, I don't that's know. Mine. Oh man. What have we done? No, no, we're all right. Are we? We. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a cube or a square? So that's one over, over x times one minus. Right. There we are. We're okay. Are we? <laughs> there we go. If we take take that inside the bracket, we've got one over x cubed. There, that's true, isn't it? Yeah. Multiply out the bracket on the bottom. I'm happy again now. Well, happy-ish. One over x times one is one over x. 1 over x times minus x is minus 1 cubed. There we go, which gives us 1 over x squared on the top. That bottom line, I'm going to take, I'm going to take out a factor of minus 1. Are you all right, Abby? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it now. Excellent. I wasn't sure where you got the squared from, ah. but now I see it. Brilliant. I'm going to take out a factor of minus 1 to get minus 1 minus 1 over x. 1 cubed, and I'm going to write this one of what am I going to do? I'm just going to say I've done it. Here we are. That is minus 1 over x squared times 1, over, uh, one minus 1 over x to the minus 3. Hooray! So that's what, that's what Dave did. Thank you. I know that's very good. Right, part, uh, part 3 continued. Hence, find the first three terms of the binomial expansion of x over 1 minus x cubed in powers of 1 over x. Right. So we now need to do a binomial expansion of this thing here. So we're now expanding 1 minus 1 over x to the minus 3. So x over <coughs> 1 minus x cubed is now going to be approximately equal to minus 1 over x squared times, if we do that expansion, similar things going on. We've still got a power of minus 3, but now our x is actually minus 1 over x. So it's 1 plus minus 3 times minus 1 over x plus minus 3 times minus 4 over 2 times minus 1 over x squared. And then we carry on. Which gives us minus 1 over x squared times 1 plus 3 over x plus 6 over x squared. And here we've got minus minus giving us a plus. That would be 12 over 2 is 6. And that squared gives us plus 1 over x squared. And so the expansion we're looking for is minus 1 over x squared minus 3 over x cubed minus 6 over x to the 4 if we multiply by minus 1 over x squared. Uh, Sorry, Dave, you've got Darren Cooks in here. Yes, Darren. Right. Hi, yeah, uh, I video world. Well, Darren is just leaving us for a moment. Great. Um, so we've got this expansion. We'll try and finish the question for you. Um, and then it says comment on the suitability of substituting the same value of x as used in part two in the expansion in part three to estimate the value of 100 over 729. Now, um, you may think, because this is just one mark, you can say, not suitable, and run away from the question fast <laughs> with the one mark tucked in your back pocket. Um, that, that won't work, because you can't just guess 
It's a kind of yes or no question, and you can't just guess one of them and hope that you get away with it. So we have to actually justify if we don't think it's suitable. It's not suitable. Um, and the reason it's not suitable, well, if we think about it, we're wanting to use a, a, a value of 0 0.1. But what we've done is an expansion of 1 minus 1 over x. So in our expansion, in part 3, we're, it's valid for um, 1 over x being between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay? Um, and if x equals 0 0.1, then 1 over x equals 10. 1 over 0 plus 1 is 10. And 10 is not between minus 1 and plus 1. Therefore, an x value of 0 0.1 wouldn't be valid. Not valid and not suitable. As, as 10 is not as we well, hope to write it. That Ridiculous for me to say at the end, but you know what I mean. I've got that in it. I'm an idiot. Right, um, and that's maths. <laughs>